hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is miss do uh, i would request you kindly to subscribe to this youtube channel like share and also comment what you think about this channel or what you'd like us to improve so on today's video i'm gonna be showing you on how you can create a profile on eldercare.com canada that's this website is where you find uh sponsors who needs caregivers to canada uh, most of these sponsors uh, do sponsor your visa so it's a very good uh, website and it's easy to create a profile also so ju you just need to type on your google search uh, eldercare.com canada and then you just need to scroll down to this um to, the, to this exact um, website but it's little now sponsorship required jobs elder care jobs in canada and uh just click on it when you, when you click on it it brings you to this page where you see uh they tell you rather the uh, rather have families come to you so they need you to post your profile and if you don't need to if you don't want to post your profile you can still look at uh, this place where you have 870 elder care providers jobs found so right now we have on, over 800 uh, care providers jobs in this website and uh, as you can see we have uh, this person here they are looking for someone who can take who can assist their father who has stroke and needs help working and getting in and out of bed we have so many so many so many jobs here but now i want to teach you on how to create a profile but uh, i already created a profile and uh, it's a bit hard for me to trying to create another profile because they always say that your email has an account okay but i'm gonna show you something before even i go to my account so as you can see here let me try to put it this way uh they tell you how can family contact you so here you're going to put in your uh, your content your contacts that is your email and your phone number and uh make sure that your email address that you're going to put here is the one that you're using or you have access to because later on they are going to send you a verification uh, a email that you're going to verify that your email is correct and for the phone numbers mostly they require the canadian number or i don't know why whenever you want to put your uh, your correct uh, phone number uh, in the country that you are in they always say that like it's not correct so this is the trick we just need to put numbers that are just um you see for example in kenya our country code is 254 and then uh you need uh, how many numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you just need to put number uh, 10 numbers only it doesn't have to be your contact okay just make sure that you put uh 10 numbers only in this format as you can see and then you're good to go okay so uh, let me cancel that one so for me because i have an account i'm just going back uh to the search engine for me to log in okay so i'm just going to log in to my account and i'll show you how to do it uh so after i, I type eldercare.com canada login i just click here and then i'm just going to find uh, so when you're on this website uh, they tell you to create uh, your your to post your profile so what you need to do you just need to click um, okay right now we have 223 under elder care providers job but let's just create a um, post our profile okay so this is what I they ask you where are you applying for elder care jobs this the question is where do you want to go and work okay it's not where you are so are we going to select canada because that's where we went uh, we want to get our job uh, in so when it comes to city oh uh, that is the, the provinces uh let me see which province i'll take there's so many provinces here but ontario nova scotia so i'll take nova scotia i don't know if that's the the correct pro pronunciation but uh, anyway you can see the spelling so no no big deal so let me try to take blandford and uh 
that's how you fill in this section that is the country canada the state or province then city you just need to click next uh, do you require a workshop uh, sponsorship of course we need to be spent be sponsored so this is are you an overseas applicant requiring sponsorship by a family of course yes and then you're gonna click next uh, what services do you offer select all that applies so this is what uh, this is what uh, the the caregiver uh, job is all about we have personal care medication administration we have nursing care we have bathing and we have uh, cpr training so for me and i'm just going to select nursing care and then we have a uh, 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 personal care nursing care and bathing that's what i'm interested in so and then i'm going to click next so when it comes to this uh, section this is where they ask you your legs or how much are you are you expecting to be paid for for hour and they say the hour rate must be at least uh 13.5 uh 13 uh canadian dollars that is the nova scotia's minimum wage it's okay if you aren't sure about the rate and add an approximate one you can always change later so you can add anything here and you can always change it later so if the minimum wage is 13.35 uh, dollars canadian dollars i guess i'm gonna put um 18 dollars per hour that's the amount that i would love to be paid for uh, of which i can change it later but uh let's go next uh, so when it comes to this section you are asked to add your profile photo a uh, photo helps uh, people feel they are connecting with a real person and a photo to it to increase your chances of finding a match so on this section you need to, to upload a good photo as you can see the photos uh, the examples given here these people are smiling they look uh, like they're, they're people that are approachable so this is what they give you some tips that um, make a good first impression use a photo of your face center yourself and smile avoid photos with text avoid photos with text uh, now what we're going to do we're going to add our profile photo okay let me allow it so I'm going to look for a photo that um, will be good so I guess this one looks good Selected. So we've selected our photo and this is how we're gonna do it let me show you so i'm just gonna center it there i guess it looks good i'm smiling i look good and uh, i guess now i can upload this photo and this is uploading let's upload the photo Okay, and there, boom, my profile photo is there, and this is what they tell me, looks great, thank you for making a good first impression, this photo will show up in such result, your profile page and inbox. So, the next thing you need to do, we are going to just uh, tap next, and here, now this is where our homework is. Uh, you know guys uh, even when you apply you are looking for an au pair job that is a host family to go and work as an au pair there is a place they ask you to write a letter to the host family describing yourself saying who you are what you can do uh, this is almost the same thing so what should family know about you so on this headline you're just going to to put a, 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 a an eye-catching headline you know something good that will attract um, sponsors to check your profile so for example you can write looking for a senior caregiver job in Blandford, nova scotia so for me i can just uh, you just need to say for example i can say um okay i can just say Pauline Pauline here here um, I don't 
know if this is the right way to do it this is Berlin okay wait a minute wait a minute So this is how I put it. This is Pauline looking for her. This is Pauline. Let me just put a comma to make it easy. And uh, you know, it's very important to check your grammar. It's very, so let me just change here again. I think that's not perfect also. And Pauline, okay, this is nice. I see, so I'm Pauline looking for a sinecure. Uh, give a job in blood fall Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia so I guess that one is good that will be my head right and then here you need to introduce your work describe what you do and why you are the best so in this box you have to put a, uh, it has to be a, a minimum of a hundred character so it should not be less than a hundred but you can write more than a hundred character on this box so you have um you can write up to a thousand two thousand uh, but it should be very brief easy to read you should check your grammar your spellings uh, uh, because uh, Canada is a country where English is their native language that's why most of the time uh, some of those uh, when you're looking for a job in Canada you are asked to sit for IELTS exam and uh, so you have to make sure that uh, you've written um, your description in a very good way an easy way that uh, anyone can read so uh, they have given you some tips here get started with these questions uh, these are the question that will help you write this um, this description about a uh, disc uh, brief description about yourself so you're going to state what service do you offer what experience do you have why should they hire you any special qualifications or training so for those guys who have been asking me about uh, telling me i have done cna that is certified nursing assistant uh, this is your best shot you need to put all that in this description tell them what you've done if you have experience if you have trainings that will go a long way uh, for you if you have done these short courses like uh, first aid also include them on this description and uh, so uh, they also ask you why should they hire you any special qualification and training and what's your availability this is when are you available to start working okay so you have to put all that uh, into consideration so let's uh, get the description tips and examples here they tell you description are the first things that people read uh, to decide who to contact contact uh, make a first good impression check for spellings and grammar as i told you before you have to make sure that your spellings and grammar is on point avoid using caps caps is the capital letters or too much exclamation marks make it easy to read use paragraph and list to break up long text remember email addresses website links and all phone numbers should not appear in this description so it's very important for you not to add any of your email address website link or phone numbers it's not advisable that will protect you from being scam okay so when you, when we reach at this point um uh, for me i'm just going to skip i'm just going to skip because i need time to sit down write everything and this applies also to you sit down write uh, everything about yourself check your spellings give it to your friend to check it for you and then uh, uh, write uh, type it down on the description so uh, description box so what I'm going to do is uh, skip I'm just going to skip that part and then um, so here they ask you choose a plan easy field uh, find work in your area so this is what you need to do you're just going to come here and select limited um, limited that is uh, send and receive up to three uh, messages in total per conversation okay so with this limited one you're not going to pay anything you just uh, have you have you'll be limited on the uh, amount of uh, the the length of the conversation that you're going to have with the host family okay so for now we are just going to to select limited and then um, but it's always free then next okay uh, you're all set what's next uh, you can start conversation with features of basic uh, members for free then upgrade to respond to basic members so you can do that later 
uh you can also i can always go back to improve my profile like i uh, change my profile picture add the description you can do more to your profile okay it's not like when you you create the profile it's done no you can always go back to your profile and um and uh and do what and um and edit your profile again so uh i guess it's done we have already created our profile and uh this is what they told me you're all set what's next uh let's uh try to browse and when you browse uh they told you if you want to get uh, messages or calls from potential employer upgrade but uh, for now we are not upgrading because on our limited edition we have 223 elder care providers job uh, found so these are these are families these are family host families that are looking for uh caregivers and uh, as we can see he was active 10 hours ago my name if um, my name is vicky i am helping my older brother to find a reliable clean and neat caregiver who has a car and lives near him to help support his in home needs and part-time only tuesdays thursday and saturday so this one is not um this one is not applicable to us because for us we need a full-time job we need somewhere that uh be a, a, a host family that is going to sponsor us so that's that's it that's how easy it is to create a profile on eldercarejobs.com and i hope um, if you have any question or there's something there's somewhere that you're not uh, understanding please uh, leave a comment on the section uh, the comment section box don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel uh, tell me if uh, you would love more of this kind uh, these videos or if there's any video that would like me to to do please do leave a comment on the uh, comment section and um, i really appreciate uh, everything that each and every person is doing by supporting this channel so bye bye see you in my next video